All right, guys, here we are. New unit is a is, is, is here. We have the shade. Um, so, yeah. New unit, shade. It's 40 cost. Um, it has stealth. When it unstealths, it EMPs things for 1.5 seconds. I think this is a full EMP. This is like 100%, so it stops them moving and shooting. Uh, and it's like a burst fire damage unit. It looks like its damage is very high from what I've seen on the videos. Uh, and 40 is a very low cost. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna see how it goes. We're gonna start with this deck, uh, basically a nod air deck, with the shade replacing the laser drones, and we're gonna be on stone wall, and we're just gonna play some games with the shade. We're gonna see how strong it is, basically. All right, here we go. First game against Leffa. We're just gonna be playing against random viewers in my stream. Uh, hopefully, people are not gonna try and counter deck me because obviously we just want to see how the shade performs. So if people are gonna bring like all air decks. That's not gonna make it pretty pointless because we're not gonna be able to test it out, but we'll see how it goes. Okay, we're gonna get some militants. Harvester, go and check out what he's up to. Right, he's got wheels first, that's fine. That's good for us, that means we get to probably try out the shade against the uh, vehicles. He definitely has War Factory. We get some lasers. Do the standard laser versus wheel dance at the start of the game. All these militants back. Get another laser trooper. Right, so we're gonna, now we're gonna try and save up to go for, uh, go for the shade. All right, so we take out the wheels and some flamers. Oh yeah, flamers are now fast. Wow, flamers are really fast now, damn. That's pretty scary. He right, boosts them. Oh, whoa there, flamers. Slow down, my dudes. <laughs> Man, those are fast now. All right, let's get the shade and test this thing out. Let's send it against these bikes and see what happens. All right, so EMP, they're still moving, so it doesn't completely stop them moving. It almost kills a bike squad. Wow, that is a really weird breakpoint to have. It puts the bike squad on, like, almost dead, but not quite. Why? It's such a weird breakpoint. Let's send the shading again. Get the lasers onto all the pads. Shades up. Wow, the shade reloads insanely quickly. Holy crap. Maybe too quickly? That is... I mean, it only costs 40, and it... This thing, this thing seems real good, boys. Real good. There's the EMP again. Let's pull this one back and try and get some, uh, try and get some stealth or whatever. Yeah, this thing, I mean, I don't know, it's a little early, but this thing seems strong. Get the EMP again. What does the EMP actually do? Like, not that much, honestly. A little early to say still, but we could, we could be seeing a lot of nod air. I didn't, I didn't really get to see its infantry damage. I mean, next time he makes infantry, we'll get a shade to shoot it. There's a phantom. Does the phantom one-shot the shade? I assume it does. But you can also EMP the enemy phantoms, so that's pretty interesting. Ooh, why did I kill his guy? Did he boost it or something? Let's find some more shades. They seem pretty good, don't they? Bikes also are now nerfed, so I don't know how that impacts things. Alright, well, it looks pretty powerful so far. Um, I was able to pretty much dominate ground with them, but also you can do that with laser drones, so I don't know how much of a difference it is yet. We'll have to take place more games. All right, so we've got dogs. I think we're just gonna chill, basically. We're gonna chill with our, our two infantry. Fight the dogs a little bit and just try and go straight into shade. So if these were laser drones, they'd already be out. Obviously, the shade does seem very good. I'm not suggesting it's bad. I'm just saying that, like, the, the most comparable unit, I think, is the laser drones. Let's see what does the dogs. One-shots them. That's pretty, pretty cool, I guess. Seems pretty strong. Wow, it's already reloaded. That's insane. It's already reloaded and stealthed. And wow, it beats the slingshot. That's that's insane. That's ridiculous. I just walked up to a slingshot and killed it. That's actually outrageous. Okay, well, <laughs> it's already reloaded as well. The reload time on this thing is just so fast. All right, let's run away from the slingshots. Try and get EMP. Let's stealth again. 
with up to a stealth. Wow, wow, what? It just kills it without even taking a shot. Jeez, this thing's insane. EMP the pitfall. The EMP doesn't seem that relevant, I have to say. Uh, I've been told by my chat that the EMP means you can, like, kill a bike squadron without taking shots back, but that hasn't really been my experience so far. There's a Razorback, but we have Fade, so we don't really care about the Razorback that much. So we're just going to make air units. Wow, this is... I mean, the reign of the Slingshot is over, that's for sure. This is like a billion times better against a Slingshot than Laser Drones. Because that was the biggest problem with Laser Drones, was they were terrible against Slingshot. But this thing, this thing annihilates Slingshot. This is, this is kind of gross. How much money I have, I haven't really been paying attention to the game at all. Wow, okay. Um, that's disgusting. Mission accomplished. Alright, so now we're going to try the classic Jade laser drone deck, but we're going to be Jade, Jade, uh, Jade Shade now. Which, to be fair, um, I mean, the name Jade Shade is great for a deck, so... Maybe, maybe it's okay if the shade is broken, because we get to play Jade Shade. Alright, so we want to be charging with Jade. The chem's out. Keep charging. Probably gonna go air now. I would assume. Go scout. Yep, there's the air. So we're gonna go. Oh, it's a razor back. Right, so we're gonna go for the bikes. We can't afford a phantom. Bikes obviously a lot weaker than they used to be against um, air. Well, it actually makes not that much difference. Yeah, it's the same number. So it's about the same number of bike missiles to kill a kill a razor back. So not really that big a difference. All right, we're gonna try and go into Phantom now because obviously we need we need to kill these Razorbacks a little bit quicker. Looks like the Razorback is actually beating the bikes now, which is a little bit awkward. All right, let's get these bikes over here. More bikes to the middle. Good fire this missile now. Yep, nice. Okay, so the Jade's base damage has been changed as well. You can no longer kill someone's base by just throwing missiles at it. I'm going to try it just to see if it works. I'm pretty sure it should, it should no longer work uh, with, the, with the change. The plan of just throwing stuff at the opponent's base shouldn't be possible anymore. But we'll find out. I wonder if I should be making a Shade just to EMP his air units. Like move on to pads and EMP his air units. Definitely no Phantom, because we can't fight Mohawks with bikes. Let's make a Shade as well. And then we'll EMP this guy here. I didn't really do anything. Okay, let's move this up to the Slingshot. Yeah, the fact we can just one-shot the Slingshot is actually insane. Over the base. Page is not going to reload in time, but we did get the chem warrior to the base, so hopefully we can just kill the base now. Okay, so the damage is about the same for um for with chem warriors. How much damage does this do to the base? Not bad actually. Pretty good replacement for laser drones. All right, cool. So the damage for the for the, for the chemical warrior with clouds is about the same. But I think it's the actual missile damage is worse. So the strategy still works if you reach their base, but is less powerful when you can't get to their base. Alright, so now we're going to try like a classic air avatar deck. But with the shade instead of the laser drones. So the increased cost is obviously an issue in an avatar deck, but I'm hoping that the increased power level will, uh, you know, negate it. Alright, so we obviously want to stall the missile. 
Fisher here. He's going for scavengers. Got second harvester now. Need to stall. Right, so he's got some bikes. Gonna get shade and go after the bikes to shade. Alright, so it one shots them with a little bit of help from the venom, it's kind of insane. Alright, it just, it just reloads so quickly, man. Like, the reload time is insane. And the cost is not that high. Oops, I did not mean to move my Venom. Actually kind of just winning the missile with these, uh, with these shades. Whoops, I just missed it. I just hit the wrong unit. Bad. Keep making shades and venoms. We're actually pretty close to Avatar now. I'm gonna keep making shades, I guess. Wow, we won the missile. Jeez, okay. These things are broken. If we can EMP the Inferno as well, that'd be great. Oh, we did. Feels amazing. You can't even kill my shade because it's 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 invisible. <laughs> The EMP, we hit all his air units as well. Oh, the EMP stops his fans from reloading in time to fight mine as well. This is disgusting. This unit is, uh, this unit is gross. So we're going to be playing Fnatic Aggro, we've taken out the tank and replaced that with uh, with the shade, so this is going to be interesting. We're going to go wheels first. Now the problem with this deck is going to be that we're free building deck now, so it's going to take a little bit longer. Like normally the power of Fnatic Aggro is you get the Fnatics and the tanks out early, that's not going to be possible anymore. Alright, so we get the Fnatics out. Chemical buggy. Alright, so we'll back up, hide behind our wheels. We're gonna want shade as quickly as possible against this, I think. So I'm just gonna wait and go for a shade. Okay, now let's see if we can get the shade to kill his chemical buggy. So we should fly over and EMP it. Yeah. Wow. Just, he just nuked it down. That was pretty insane. We need another one, though. Another one here. 
Oh, they both fight on the same bike squadron, that's awkward. Kill this chemical buggy and send this one over here. Wow, this is so broken. <laughs> I even, I just ignore the lasers. It's so cheap that I don't care. I can just ignore the lasers and just make, I can just make so many of these things because they're so cheap. I'm going to EMP his Banshee by flying past as well. Okay, the EMP looks terrible, honestly. Like, I, I don't, the EMP seems like it does almost nothing. It EMPs for almost no time. It doesn't seem to do that much impact either. But the EMP seems whatever, but the actual unit just seems so gross that it doesn't matter. This is ridiculous. I can just ignore chemical buggies now. Even if I lose a shade, who cares? Because I kill a 60 cost chemical buggy and I lose a 40 cost shade. It just doesn't matter. Let's get on this chemical buggy. Get a phantom for a banshee. Oh, it doesn't actually quite one shot the chemical buggy, but it puts it on like zero hit points. It seems like this is a common theme with the shade where it just puts things on zero hit points. And its infantry damage isn't that bad either. Like it's not good, but it will it reloads so quickly that it'll take out infantry squads. Like you see it kills two militants there. It killed the militants up here as well. It reloads so quickly that it'll kill the infantry pretty quickly. This unit seems I mean, I normally withhold judgment at first, but this unit seems completely broken. Okay, so we're going to do the Fnatic deck again. Let's see how it goes. This, this deck looked very strong in the last game, I have to say. Like, this might be this might be the one that I want to want to try. All right, so he's going Pitbull. I would normally go lasers here or bikes, but given how busted this thing seems, I'm just going to go straight into the shade. I think with wheel support, we should be able to one shot this Pitbull. All right, so the EMP actually didn't even hit it that time. But we did hit it once. It's already reloaded. What? It's insane, man. It's so busted. We should... Oh, no. We, we misfired a little bit there. All right, here comes a slingshot. As we know from previous games, slingshot is not very good against this thing. We're just going to drive in and kill it, hopefully. Yeah, it's just going to spam this. All right, I fucked up that. Back up a little. All right, let's just drive in and kill the slingshot. Some bikes. Alright, so we lose first missile. Maybe went a little bit too ham on the shades. Probably should have used some other units in there. Let's kill these snipers. Let's see how they, let's see how they do it against snipers. Right, I guess we'll just kill this pit bull. If this thing costs like 70, I think it might be balanced. But like 40 just seems, seems insane. Let's shoot the snipers and see what happens. Alright, so we actually do kill a model, which is a relevant, a relevant damage point. If you can volley and kill a single model, that makes snipers a lot worse. This thing is just so cheap. Like, it's so... it's so good for its cost. Like, if this thing costs a lot more, it might be reasonable. But it's just so powerful and so cheap. I mean, it's it's also like I would also say it's it's a cool unit. Like the way it works is cool, fun to use, but it's just so broken. The reload time on it is just it's just obnoxious. Oh, there's a hammerhead. Don't take care of my shades. All right, well. This thing is super broken. This thing is super broken, guys. All right, everyone. I think, um... I think that's probably gonna be enough for today uh my verdict on this is insanely broken it just seems completely busted 
Uh, I have no idea what they're thinking with this thing. It seems massively overtuned. Um, yeah, hopefully it's going to get nerfed soon. Uh, I, I recommend this gets banned from upcoming tournaments. And yeah. I don't know, man. <laughs> it's crazy strong. It's crazy strong. All right, guys. Uh, you'll probably be seeing some more videos from me with the shade in the future. But for now, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna put a big old stamp on it saying broken. Alright guys, see you next time.